वेलकम टू माई सेशन टू दिस इज रिगार्डिंग दी एथिक्स इन रियल इस्टेट एंड हॉस्पिटलिटी इंडस्ट्री इन माई प्रीवियस प्रजेंटेशन आई हेट टॉक अबाउट जनरली अबाउट दी वॉट काइंड ऑफ ड्यूटीज आर बींग परफॉर्म बाय दी आर्किटेक्ट्स एंड इंटीरियर डिजाइनर्स एंड एम ई पी डिजाइनर्स इन दिस प्रजेंटेशन टूडे प्रजेंटेशन माई फोकस इज प्राइमरली ऑन दी डिजाइनिंग ऑफ दी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द बिल्डिंग्स दिस विल इंक्लूड द स्कोप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर दॉट आर दी एसेंशियल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ए रॉबर्ट स्ट्रक्चर द टाइप्स एंड की स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ द बिल्डिंग मटेरियल दैट आर यूज इन द स्ट्रक्चर मटेरियल वॉट आर दी गुड डिजाइन प्रैक्टिस दैट डिजाइनर नीड टू टेक ऑर्गेनाइज ऑफ बोथ फॉर द सब स्ट्रक्चर एज ऑल्सो फॉर द सुपर स्ट्रक्चर how to build quality in the designing process using designing software and what are these different kind of seven stages of the designing of structure now regarding the scope of the structure uh, as all of us know this structure in any building any kind of building has got primarily foundations retaining walls columns beams slabs typical floors steel floors staircases terraces sewage treatment plant harvesting pits and facade area etc etc now what what should be the characteristics of a good robust uh, rcc structure um, it must be first of all it must be able to withstand the earthquake vibrations and prevent any displacement and deformation caused by this earthquake it should be free from cracks it should be uh, having uh, the all elements should be having a plumb uh, that is straightness or the vertical uh, structures walls um, beams floors etc and then it should not un buckle under any tying any kind of loads the parts should be perfectly aligned and this should not be uh, getting corroded uh, during the uh, rainy season in particular and it should be uh, 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 constructed at optimum cost and must be as aesthetically appealing now there are different kind of uh, materials which are used in making a structure i am going to share some of the key key materials few illustrations of the materials and what kind of characteristics that designers should provide for in the designing uh, 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 at the design stage uh, first is the tmt bars and structural steel etc uh, the prime uh, characteristics of this which designer should specify is the what kind of strength what kind of elongation what kind of fatigue resistance they should have and the sizes etc the cement cement is uh, important is that what kind of cement uh, grade is to be given the setting time the strength the moisture the density the uh, fineness the chemicals etc uh, then the rmc uh, here also uh, designer has to specify what is the kind of grade which rmc is to be provided uh, uh, in terms of mechanical strength and workability and durability etc depending on the uh, type of the structure being designed then uh, there are other supporting materials like shattering material uh, which may be made out of timber or steel or aluminum uh, there also uh, designer has to specify what kind of shattering material is to be provided it could be for example mywan it could be steel it could be timber mostly it is timber uh, but one has to take into consideration the strength the durability and the rigidity uh, then this scaffolding how to reach the top floors how to reach the different kind of levels and for that scaffolding material is used uh, where the designer have to take care of the uh, what kind of compression strength the scaffolding material will have and the tensile properties so that it doesn't collapse and of course lastly the different kind of hardware which are required uh, in terms of uh, joining uh, uh, tolerances and material used in strength and chemistry etc now what are the various kind of design good uh, good design practices in the construction of the substructure these are for example starting with excavation dewatering earth moving how to prepare the pcc plain cement concrete how to prepare the rmcs uh, how to do the banding and the uh, preparing of the tmt bars how to lay the uh, piled foundations of the different kind of the foundations how how, uh, how to ensure that waterproofing is uh, absolutely perfect and uh, basically concreting and masonry work in the foundation which is required to be done now these are the things which 
designer has to specify the designs. Then uh, how to do the installation of the scaffolding, shuttering, how to do the framework for the various kind of columns, beams, etc. for the designs and drawings are required to be made for the different kind of floors and structure and uh, for the external walls, for the external uh, windows and internal doors, uh, external doors and uh, walls and partitions. Well, these are the primary, some, in some cases some part of the, some activities are uh, you know overlapping the sense that sometimes these are performed by the architectures also. Uh, now next is how to ensure that quality is built in the designing process using the various kind of designing software. Irrespective of the choice of the designing software, uh, designer have to draw what is called the grids. They have to define the materials. They have to define the sectional properties. They have to drawing. They have to design the structural engineering models. Uh, they have to conclude the selection. Uh, they have to select, select the loads, soil substructure interactions, structure dynamics, plans and elevations, earthquake analysis, and the wind analysis, particularly in the high-rise buildings and the valley engineering. Now there are different kind of software which are available, and uh, the one, the, the the most popular one amongst them is ETAB. But designers have the option of choosing any of the designing software. Now, uh, now for carrying out such a large number of activities, there are um, standard uh, stages, uh, seven stages which have been proposed uh, uh, in which to carry out the design systematically. Of course, the number of stages and the activities can be different from company to company depending on the size of the uh, project, the organizational structure for the designing uh, project itself and uh, how to object uh, how to optimize the cost and uh, how to enable you know uh, efficient delivery of the specification the designs and the drawings and uh, uh, most important one is the incorporating the maker and checker concept so that there is no conflict of the uh, duties now these are the some of the stages which are primarily required for designing of the structure now i have proposed seven stages for designing of the uh, structure which are usually uh, performed by the various designers. Now uh, I am not getting into the de detail of this uh, concept, how to develop this concept design using different kind of software, but some basic inputs which are very important which must be addressed to ensure that there are no adverse implications on the uh, design of the structure and the uh, directly on the business. These are primarily for example one has to take care of the structural safety the FAR, the overall building plan and the elevations, then uh, designers have to structure designers have to take in this stage one, the uh, that uh, that whatever uh, the structure is design, it has to be uh, properly wetting, uh, wetted by uh, not compromising or skipping of the some of the various important aspects like tolerance and specification on the materials and the workmanship, statutory code related requirements for the structure, uh, particularly with respect to the earthquake perspective, uh, natural and quality standards and the raw material specifications and the factor of safety that needs to be incorporated into this. And therefore the designer have to you know, assign very competent designers and uh, uh, using of a unlicensed software can lead to a design which is not appropriate. Number two is the vetting of the structure design. Now this requires a good amount of structural analysis by the concerned uh, structure or mechanical engineers. Uh, basically there are different kind of things which I am just giving an overview like you know uh, what kind of static and dynamic analysis of the RC structure is there, uh, the uh, designing and detailing of the RCC beams, columns, slabs, foundations, uh, how to do this parameter portaling, model frequency of the structure, wind loads in RC structure and the finite element analysis uh, using a computer simulation and so on. And now here also there are some design soft solutions which are available. One of them is STAD, S-T-A-D-D, -D, which uh, designers can consider or they can look at alternate options as well. Third is the, uh, the continuation of this wetting of the structure is that uh, 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 one has to ensure that there is no collision of the principal architect and the person who is doing the uh, vetting of this, which is called a proof consultant. Sometimes this proof consultant are outsourced, sometimes they are within the same uh, design organization. 
so here the various parameters which are important are the factor of safety uh, overall dimension of the structure the sizes of the tmt bars and the grades fe414 fe550 or the design of the rmcs or cement grades quantity take off etc etc sometime you know uh, one of the important aspects which one has to take care is that there should be no compromise in the selection of these uh, uh, grades and the right kind of uh, specifications are uh, built into the designing third is the uh, designing and developing of the uh, gfc or what is called good for construction drawings and uh, activities that can adversely impact the business are that these drawings the drawings which are prepared uh, they are not aligned to the design calculation which have been done previously in the uh, stage 2 or stage 1 then designer uh, has to ensure that uh, the of the brand's choices is wide enough so that uh, for the uh, selection of the tmt bars and uh, cement or rmc or major inputs so that there are no special favors granted to any of the vendors uh, then uh, uh, the uh, the before these uh, bulk supplies are obtained for the, uh, the raw materials which go into making the structure one has to ensure that there is proper testing uh, of the samples is done and these must qualify as per the required uh, uh, specifications uh, then uh, uh, sometimes i have seen that the drawings are issued to the uh, construction team without proper control and it is uh, this can cause lot of confusion particularly in case the design is undergoing uh, some change leading to lot of waste etc uh, other thing is that when the designs are issued to the uh, construction team this must be under proper control whether these are hard drawings or soft copies uh, the hard drawings uh, must be shredded and the uh, 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 the obsolete drawings they need to be deleted altogether once for all otherwise these things are going to cause continuous delays in the release of the drawings and design and of course can affect the project cost adversely uh, fourth stage is called tender development now this uh, it is the technical parts of the tenders are usually developed by the architect teams in consultation with the other concerned people like uh, contract team or the purchase team etc now the, this is comprehensive this this uh, the tender uh, must have comprehensive technical parameter specifications of the entire uh, boq uh, and uh, uh, it must specify very clearly the alternate uh, brands of the materials as already previously mentioned so that uh, uh, there are no hanky panky or there are no preference to buy these from specific single source uh, which will make the negotiation practically uh, negligible uh, then uh, uh, the instruction requirements for the all these structure uh, inputs like bars or rmc or cement or whatever these need to be comprehensively listed in the uh designs and drawings uh, uh the important ones can be mentioned the design itself whereas the other ones they can be referred to in the form of reference of the uh, relevant uh, quality standard uh, and uh, uh, tenders uh, we must ensure that the uh, any statutory requirement which are there with service the tenders uh, uh, these must be complied with in and incorporated into the designs stage 5 is the obtaining the structural stability certificate now usually in india normally uh, there are some authorized agencies who are providing such uh, uh, vetting of these and providing the structural stability certificate for example iits so one has to ensure that these are obtained in a fair manner by by providing the supporting uh, calculations for the design stability uh, then uh, Uh, last but not the least the uh, cost estimates of the entire structure they need to be made and a structure is one of the very important uh, contributor to the total cost of the project and uh, it includes the um, bar cement shattering rmc generally and cost of labor cost of fabrication etc etc now these instead of you know uh, evolving this cost on a Uh, thumb rule basis one has to go by the first principle costing of these um, uh, you know instead of saying that okay my structure cost will be 1000 rupees uh, or equivalent uh, uh, dollars uh, per square feet 
stage seven is the uh, preparing of the as built drawing. Now, uh, structure has got different components already mentioned about columns, foundations, terraces, training walls, beams, etc. etc. Uh, and uh, uh, the building, uh, the, the as built drawings must conform to what is actually physically produced, not the ones which were previously sanctioned or approved. Sometimes, you know, the, you know, in case these designs, uh, in case the actual as built drawings are produced just to align with the uh, sanctioned drawing, it is not appropriate. This can lead to a lot of complications later on. So broadly, there are uh, 29 activities which I have uh, described above, uh, you know, which can have adverse impact on the business of the uh, structure design. Uh, and uh, you can refer to more of these details in my book uh, called, uh, titled, uh, Think in the Real Estate and Hospitality Sector, uh, Volume 1. And uh, there are a couple of blogs which are there in my website, and this is the blog number 38, where you can specifically find more details about this project.